Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another installment of Modding Arc. Today, what we're going to do is learn how to add a variable into an INI file and configure it into an item. So, what I mean is that here, I'll go ahead and pull one up real quick. So that whenever you're inside of your game user settings that I and I, you can edit it. Uh, it's going to ask me for an update. No, thank you. Even though I should. And I'm talking about these mods down here. So you can put something like this, like how on one of my other mods, Dozer's mod, I have it inside of a section, and then I have some variables inside of it. And we're going to go ahead and do something like this today. So the first thing we're going to do is make our section. So we're going to call this uh, I and I test mods. I and I test space mods. And make sure you have bracket symbols. Square brackets, not the curly brackets. And we're going to call this um, Oh, uh, cave tier one, and we're going to set that one equal to 50, and okay, I actually need to name that cave tier one max and min. So there's max, here's min equals 100. So the only reason I'm making these so high is so that we can clearly see that that's what's being changed. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And actually we shouldn't save it yet. Sadly, whenever you make a change to the INI file, you have to close out of the editor. Because whenever you close out, it saves it. And these changes get overwritten by the previous save file. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and pause the video. All right, so now that we have added our section inside of the game user settings I and I, go ahead and close out of you, and um, make sure that your mods folder, I and I test, have the, everything moved over, rename, go over to your world settings, change the game override here to your new primal game data, which is I and I test for me at least. I don't know why I just saved it there. Anyway, now we'll get back to this. So here we have the supply crate. Move it over. There it is right there. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, so here's our supply crate that we're going to be changing. Now, if I was to just enter the game here. Can I open? Yeah, maybe. So if I open it here, you can see everything's primitive level. Well, that's not what we want. So we'll go ahead and let's go to the game and open up the supply crate. Now inside of our supply crate here, what we are going to change is we're going to go into the graph. And under the event graph, we'll go with begin play. So the event begin play. I don't know why I put down that one there. Shouldn't have done that. Under add event, you'll see begin play. Go ahead and click on that. And we are going to drag out a line. And we're going to go ahead and add a uh, sequence. 
there's only I think two parts for this sequence. So part one, what we're going to do is we're going to say switch has authority. And then we're going to go from the authority. And actually what we need to do is get game mode first. So get game mode. Pull that up. And then we're going to cast it to shooter game mode. Connect the authority to it. And then under here you'll see the uh, as shooter game mode and we're going to go ahead and get a float option I and I so get float option I and I now under section name that will be what was in the square brackets so if you go back to your um, options oh, just give me one second Alright, so if you go back into your game user settings, which is under, um, for the Arc Dev Kit, it's Arc Dev Kit, Project, Shooter Game, Save, Config, Windows, you, uh, Game User Settings. For the actual Arc Game, it will be wherever your Arc is located, and then under Shooter Game, in the same path. So, what we need to do is use this right here which is the INI test mods. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that inside of the section. Exactly how it appears inside of the INI. And then for the option, it's going to be whatever is uh, before the equals. So the option name is Cave1min. So now we are going to need to add a branch and I'll show you why in a second okay branch and for our condition we're gonna get a float equals or float is less than so if the float no equals whenever a option inside of the config file is not actually there so if we didn't have this cave option it would return it as zero and I don't want to return it as zero so what I do is I say if the option equals zero so if it equals zero then it's going to go to a default state and the default is going to be um, Set. Let's see, what do I need to set here? It should be the item quality multiplier. So, uh, let's go to variables. So, we go to variables and then scroll down to what's just under max. Yeah, there it is. Um, max item quality multi or min item quality because we're under the minimal right now. So this, so if it equals zero, then it goes to the default state. So it's true. It does equal zero. True. So the default state we're going to set it as. Uh, let's go with ten point zero. And if it is false which means that it is not equal to zero then it will be set to whatever is inside of the float INI so now we copy everything except for the two sets so control C and then control V just like so and all you have to do is connect the second part of the sequence in just like so and change the min there to the max now we need to go over here and hit uh, the maximum quality multiplier control C it control V so I 
back in. If it does not equal zero, then it will be whatever is under the option. And if it does equal zero, it's going to go ahead and do 15. So it's still good loop. Otherwise, the equality will be set to zero, which actually, you know what, that may not be a bad thing. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's set it to zero. And we'll set u to zero. And compile and save it. Now, if we did everything correct here, which I'm pretty sure we did, we should be able to hit play here. I should have changed requirements. Doesn't matter though. Two seconds. There we go. And if we open this up, it's ascended now because the quality is level 50. Um, typically, what you'll find is uh, zero is primal. Uh, one to two is uh, apprentice. Two to three, or yeah, it's around two to three, two to four is uh, journeyman items with apprentice items. You'll find apprentice in it too. And then uh, five ish or so, a little bit higher, sometimes five to ten or so, you'll find a mixture of apprentice and mastercraft and then usually 10 up you'll find ascended or not apprentice the <laughs> 5 to 10 is not apprentice and mastercraft it's ascended and mastercraft and then usually 10 plus you'll find ascended so let's say that our option isn't in there let's make sure that the default's working so what we'll do is we will simply change this to an option that's not in there so change wow second monitor sorry we will change the um, there we go to my other mod no so we're just gonna go ahead and so now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the default is correct so all we will do is we'll go inside of our get float options and we're going to change this into an option that's not inside of the float or not inside of our config. So change both that to twos and set it to zero. So now it should default back to what it originally would be, which I'm not sure what the green one set to. I think it's too low. I'm pretty sure it's like one. So let's go ahead and up here and there's a primitive good now let's try setting it to 50 to 100 so now it should be ascended here and play from here Ascended. There you go. That is how to set variables inside of an INI file inside of your game user settings. Now this will work for most item or most objects. Um, pretty much any animal or creature you can use begin play. Um, pretty much any structure you can use begin play. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what all I ran into. I'm pretty sure that's about it. Uh, so this is all just for the item quality. So for like creatures, here I'll go ahead and show you another one then. So like here is my alpha wolf. It's inside of one of my other mods. Sorry, it has to take a second. I have to load a whole bunch of different stuff. So, like here, you can see I did the same exact thing. Switch has authority. Uh, get game mode, cast it. Get the float option, so it's the wolf health. As long as it's greater than zero, then if it is greater than zero, then it sets the uh, status, the set max status value, status type, health of the wolf, so the character status of the wolf. 
and if it isn't then it defaults it down to a hundred thousand so that's how you would set an animal's health um, structure settings I guess I could show you so we'll do mini vault so the mini vault here same thing <laughs> again switch as authority cast it get the float option mini vault health so if it's greater than zero um, then we set the health if it's less than zero then we set the health I here's another way to do it this one I didn't do the sequence like what I showed you guys I did the uh, branch and then I just did the entire get options outside of that so here again is the get option so this one's for the number of slots in it so as long as it's greater than zero so if it's zero it sets it to 100 if it's not zero then it sets it to um, whatever is set in the I and I but if you look here I'm not actually referencing the item itself I'm referencing the primal inventory BP storage which is right here under its components if an item uses a component then you have to use that to retrieve a uh, quick little asterisk um, I know I said that um, if an item has a component you have to use that to retrieve well, mags I, can, I don't remember what I guess I said but what I mean is if an item has a component and you want to change something inside of the component such as if it has an inventory and you want to edit the inventory to where it has more slots or um, to where it auto crafts something you know, just whatever um, you have to reference the inventory inside of its components <coughs> as I showed uh, I guess it'd be a few seconds ago on the uh, other video. Um, same thing with animals. If you want to change their health, uh, change the dino character um, status that is inside of there, or inside of the, uh, that is referenced to them, is what I should say, or uh, that's inside of their components, such as... Uh, in the alpha wolf one that I showed you just a little bit ago uh, if you scroll down you will see his character status is under his components and that's it has holds the variable that I wanted to change which was the max stat value and his health all the other max stats are in here too so that's what I wanted to change so I had to reference that as the target just wanted to clear that up free whatever so like will say get so inside of the component you can drag that out hit the variables and you can see all the variables inside of the components so that's just like another kind of thing that you need like uh, if you're gonna be messing with graphs a lot there's a lot of different uh, little tricks that you can learn um, I don't think there's anything else that I should tell you guys. Uh, so we'll head over to that and that. And I think that's about it for setting a variable inside of an I and I file. All right. So as usual, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, enjoy it. Please tell me why. Anything I need to fix. Hit me up and have a good day.